In this example, we are going to perform the Fourier series on a periodic function. Let's say we have a rectangular wave which repeats itself over the time from nesting infinity to infinity and the period is given by one cycle equal to two parts. The omega is equal to 2 pi divided by period, therefore you obtain 1. The half period L is equal to period divided by 2, therefore you obtain pi. And the frequency in Hertz is equal to 1 over 2 pi. To find the forest series, the function fx must be within one cycle. So let's say you choose one cycle to be here. So the function equal to negative k from negative pi to 0, which is this. And the function equal to k from 0 to pi, which is this. And don't forget the periodic function, where the function fx is repeat itself over the time with the period 2 pi. The general formula for the Fourier series is given by this. So, to use this formula, the fx must be a periodic function. So, since in this case we have a periodic function, therefore we can cross it. So, a0 is the constant that can be obtained by this formula. So, substitute the l here to be pi, then you obtain this formula. And then substitute the L here to be pi, you can obtain this as well. Lastly, substitute L here, you obtain the Bn. Since your omega is 1, substitute inside, you can simplify the forest series to be this answer. When you want to integrate the function fx within negative pi to pi here, the fx has two functions which is equal to negative k and k in these two regions. Therefore, you need to integrate from negative pi to 0 for the function fx equal to negative k to obtain this area. Then you continue plus the integration from 0 to pi by using fx equal to k to find the area within this region. Without calculation, you see the area here is negative and the area here is positive as both of them has the same area. Therefore, negative plus positive, you obtain 0. So, you should obtain 0 here. So, another meaning for A0 is the average for the fx. If you look at this rectangular curve, you can predict the average to be at the center here. A0 is the average for the function, therefore you obtain the A0 here equal to 0, which is this line. To find the AN, you repeat the same procedure. Instead of integrate negative pi to pi directly, since the fx has two functions, you need to separate it into the corresponding function. So the function fx equal to negative k, from negative pi to 0. So you have to integrate within this region and the k is from 0 to pi. So this is your equation 2. And then you have the equation 3 where the cost is changed to sign. To obtain the coefficient bn. Let's start to solve the equation 1 by using calculation. Integrate negative k, you obtain negative kx. Substitute the limit 0 and substitute the limit negative pi inside. Negative here can be cancelled, become positive. Continue with this function. Integrate k, you obtain kx. Substitute the limit pi, you obtain this. Substitute the limit 0, you obtain this. On the right side here, you have k pi. Then you can collect the 1 over 2 pi at the outside and compute negative k pi plus k pi, you obtain 0. So 0 multiply the constant, you still obtain 0. See that you obtain the same answer for your a0, where previously we say that this a0 is the average of the function fx. Estimate the average of the function from the graph, you also obtain the same answer.
which is a0 equal to 0. Let's continue with the second equation to solve the a n. Integrate constant negative k multiplied with cos n x. Then you obtain sine n x divided by n here. Substitute the limit inside, you should obtain this. Negative negative here can be cancelled, become positive. So you obtain this. On the right hand side, you have k cos nx. After you integrate, you obtain sine nx divided by n. And substitute the limit, you obtain d. So this part can be cancelled. Lastly, you obtain d. Collect the term for 1 over pi. Therefore, the 1 over pi here can be cancelled. Since we know that sine n negative pi will be equal to negative sine n pi, for example, n is integer, it can be any value. So let's say your n is equal to 5, you have negative 5 pi. This will be equal to negative sine 5 pi. Therefore, we can substitute this equation to replace the negative pi here. And you get negative sine n pi. So negative sine n pi plus the sine n pi here, you obtain 0. So the answer for a n is 0 here. Continue to solve the equation 3 to find the b n. Integrate negative k sine n x, you obtain negative k cos n x divided by negative n. So integrate k sine n x, you obtain k cos n x divided by negative n. Substitute the limit inside. So cos 0, you obtain 1. Therefore, you obtain k over n. Substitute negative pi inside, you obtain cos n negative pi, which is this term. On the right side here, substitute pi, you obtain cos n pi, which is here. Substitute 0, cos 0, you obtain 1. Therefore, you have k divided by negative n, which is this term. Collect the term for 1 over pi. Then 1 over pi here can be cancelled. So you see k over n plus k over n here to obtain 2k over n. So this term is written here again, this term is written again here. Since we know cos n negative pi is equal to cos n pi, for example, when your n is equal to 5, cos negative 5 pi is just the same with cos 5 pi. Therefore, we can remove the negative here and you still get the same answer. So negative k over n plus negative k over n, you obtain negative 2k over n. After you take the summation for these two terms, then you take the 2k over n here. Outside, you obtain 2k over n pi here. So for this term, the remaining answer is 1. So for this term, you become 1 multiplied with cos n pi. So this is the answer and you should know that your n is 1 and above. Because your n is stuck from 1 to infinity for the bn here. To find the b1, substitute n equal to 1 inside. You obtain 2k over pi. And 1 minus cos pi. Cos pi after you calculate, you obtain negative 1. 1 minus negative 1, you obtain 1 plus 1, which is 2. 2 multiply 2k here, you obtain 4k. So b1 is 4k over pi. Substitute 2 inside, you obtain b2. 2k divided by 2 pi, you obtain k over pi only. 1 minus cos 2 pi. Cos 2 pi is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Therefore, you obtain 0 for your V2. Substitute 3 inside. You obtain V3. So 2k over 3 pi.
1 minus cos 3 pi give you negative 1 therefore here 1 minus negative 1 you obtain 2 2 multiply 2k you obtain 4 with that you obtain your b3 equal to 4k over 3 pi and if you continue at n equal to 4 inside you obtain your b4 you get 0 continue b5 you get 4k over 5 pi you see for the odd number for n you obtain your bn to be 4k over n pi when you choose even number for the n at this 2 case you obtain your bn equal to 0 odd number here means your n is start from 1, 3, 5 and so on even number here means you have the n equal to 2, 4, 6 and so on so you have obtained the answer for these three coefficients let us substitute inside so since this two term is zero so this part will be cancelled and you only have the fx equal to summation of bn multiplied with sine and x so substitute n equal to 1 you obtain b1 and sine x substitute n equal to 2 inside you obtain b2 and you know b2 is zero therefore we have nothing here Continue with n equal to 3 inside, you obtain b3 and sine 3x, where the b3 is equal to 4k divided by 3 pi. Continue with the n equal to 4, substitute, you obtain b4, b4 is 0, therefore you have nothing here. So you continue to obtain b5 and b7, and the even number for bn is 0. Then you success to obtain the forest series result for this rectangular way. Previously, we stop here and substitute the n to obtain the bn. We can also let cos n pi to be negative 1 n. Because when n is equal to 1 here, cos pi is equal to negative 1. If n is equal to 2, cos 2 pi is equal to 1. Negative 1 power of 2 gives you 1 as well. Substitute the negative 1 power of n to replace the cos n pi here you should obtain the bn in this answer so substitute the bn inside the Fourier series answer so you obtain this then you substitute the n equal to 1 inside you obtain 2k over pi negative 1 power of 1 you obtain negative 1 1 plus 1 you obtain 2 so you obtain this cos and you continue with the next term which is n equal to 2 2k divided by 2 pi you obtain k over pi negative 1 power of 2 you obtain 1 1 minus 1 is 0 therefore you obtain 0 for the second term so for the third term n equal to 3 2k over 3 pi negative 1 power of 3 you obtain negative 1 1 minus negative 1 you obtain 2 cos 3x you can continue the calculation by substitute n equal to 4, 5, 6 and so on and when you check this answer it's the same with the answer that we obtained previously so this approach is also acceptable. As a rule of thumb, let's keep at least 4 partial summation terms here for our Fourier series result. 